What's up, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Tay, man, and y'all already know whenever I get on YouTube, it do get crazy, man. But today, we back at the blender, man, because we actually got to feed these dogs, man. I haven't made no mush for y'all on video and since they was probably right around just born, man. But they write it, um, tomorrow is Friday. That makes them, that'll make them two months old, eight weeks old. So, if you didn't watch my previous videos, go watch, check that video out, and I'll explain, uh, the texture of the, of the mush when I make it depends on a certain age because as when they're smaller, I make it a little more watery. And uh, as they get older, I get rid of the puppy um, milk replacer and I also just, um, I make it a little more thicker because I'm really getting them ready for dog, uh, hard food, solid foods or whatever, which normally around this age, I, ha I would be already starting solid food, but the dog's still so small, man. I just don't really feel like they ready for solid food just yet. So what I'm doing is, what y'all finna see? I'm finna make them some mush. And like I said, you're gonna learn if you getting into the breeding game or you already breeding, you might can learn something from this video. But uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh warm the water up real quick. I'm gonna get I'm gonna not get it real hot, but a little warm to when I do blend it, it don't cool off. Cause I kinda want it warm when they get it, but I'm not gonna add as much water. Y'all y'all will see how thick uh y'all will see how thick it is when I get done making it. But first, you do want to add you some dyeing in there. Let's see, it. you want to add you some dyeing in there. Um, again, don't add the puppy re uh, milk replacer at this age. I mean, I don't. You could do what you want to do, but I don't. Not at this age. But yeah, just add a little bit of dyeing. Not not a whole bunch. Just a little bit. Now I don't know. Hopefully, y'all can see this good on the camera. But let me get a little closer. But I just barely touch the line where the, where the dog food stops. That's how much water you want to put in it. Well, that's how much water I put in it to get it the thickness that I want it. Now, I'm going to turn the camera off and then turn the camera back on when it get done blending because this blender going to get really loud. And I know y'all don't want to hear that. Sometimes I don't even want to hear it. All right, so hopefully y'all can see that. But that's about where you want to get it to see how thick it is so I mean it's really like almost solid food but it's a little little mushy just take this one get it out of there like I told y'all in my pre previous videos I only put my mush on one side of the bowl for cleaning purposes So yeah, man, this is about where you want to get it at. So it ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't like full blown solid food, but it's real close. Y'all want to know something funny, man? This is a true fact. This is a true statement. Any of my family members uh, 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 validate this. I can't cook food, human food, to save my life. Like. If I don't got nobody cooking for me or making food for me, like I probably would die. If it wasn't for McDonald's, I can't leave McDonald's out. <laughs> if it wasn't for McDonald's, I probably would die. But this dog, this mush, and anything got to make dog food, I could make it like I went to um, cooking school or something. <laughs> hey, the puppies and got to the age to where they like no, it's 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 time to eat or whatever. They didn't got to the age. Listen to them, they going crazy in here. They know. But let me get this camera set up, man. We're gonna feed the puppies, and then I'm gonna get into um, I'm gonna get into the update as far as who bought, what number is available, and what numbers is taken already, and you know, we're gonna do our normal routine when we in the headquarters, man. That's all. We're just gonna do our normal thing. As y'all can see, they know it's time to eat. Look, they active now. Look at them. They didn't get to the point where I have to move the heat lamp. I mean, move the cage away from the wall so they won't uh, so they won't bite the cord. I know y'all probably thinking like, why they still got a heat lamp? But it ain't because of the puppies. They old enough to be without a heat lamp right now. But 
I'm the type of person I keep my house extremely cold, so I don't want them cold. Just because I like to be cold. Hey, hey, boy! Look at the body on them boys, y'all. Look at the body on them boys. Y'all looking at looking at future studs right here. So watch this, and watch this. This how well him, uh, uh, the chocolate boy, and the giveaway pup gonna hop out the cage easily. The little one, his, his leg's so small that he, I'm gonna have to help him out. <laughs> Watch this. Told you. Watch he comes right behind us. Now look at him. He can't even get out, y'all. <laughs> he can't even get out. Look at his little leg. He can't even get out. Alright, boy. I'm gonna help you. Come on. <laughs> them boys getting down. See what I mean? They eating good. They eat the bush with no problems, man. Even though it's kind of hard. But I don't think they ready for full blown. The body on that boy, man. Body on them boys. I don't think they ready for full blown uh, solid food just yet. So probably for the next maybe. I probably feed them. I probably feed them that uh, texture of mush probably for like another week. Then I'm gonna try it. Just depends on their body size and weight, you know, stuff like that. But uh, anyways, this what y'all coming for, here for? I already know that's what y'all coming here for, man. Or maybe not, man. Y'all coming over here because it do get crazy. You know what I'm talking about? It do get crazy. That's why y'all coming over here. But anyways, man, let's get over here to this board, man. Again, once again, before we even start out, who done paid? We we getting rid of Cash App, man. They playing games with us. We getting rid of Cash App. If you want to enter this raffle, man, this giveaway, what you want to do is you want to Zelle or Apple Pay. This phone number right here, 305-479-7504. And um, it's always got the little link in the top of the uh, screen just because, you know, just in case y'all forget what I'm saying. But anyways, we're going to go down this list again, man. We got um, Stephen Harris in spot number one. Then on in three, we got Tracine Martin. And by the way, man, if I mention somebody's name, if I say it wrong, don't take it personal, man. Please don't take it personal. But uh, number four, we got Big Mike Measy, 438. Seven, Michael Jackson. Eleven, Santiago. I don't know how to say your last name, but you see you locked in, man. Tracine Martin again, 2018. Uh, Angel Kirian. Uh, 23, Shay Lawson, 27, Stephen Harris, 32, Lexus Raglan, 33, Felicia Hudson, 43, Alexis again in uh, 47. We really ain't got nothing from 48 to 87, man. That's a whole open spot, man. And, uh, 88, Rashad, uh, WP, Swag Wolf, 2.2.4. 89, Shay Lawson again. Shay Lawson want this dog, man. Shay Lawson want this dog. <laughs> she is not playing. Number 93 is Francis Francisco. 99, Tracine. Uh, 100, Julian. Uh, number 107 is uh, Tati. 111 is Mo. Shay Lawson, 129. SIE Marley, uh, 133. 136 is BK. 81 is Shay Lawson again, and 200 is Stephen Harris. And so, remind y'all, when I did my last raffle, my last giveaway, when I tell y'all we sold the raffle out in, in literally uh, 10 days, so I decided to um, add more numbers and add a second place. So, if y'all don't know, if you haven't been paying attention, if you didn't watch my previous videos, man, go do that now. But I'm going to go ahead and explain what's going on. First place winner will win. The micro exotic, uh, micro exotic bully puppy. Second place will win $250. This raffle will end February 20th. Whether all spots sell up or not, it will end February 20th. I go live and I I use a raffle creator spin wheel. 1 through 200. We're going to push the button on live. Whatever number comes out, first place winner that wins the dog. Second place winner will win the uh, $250. But anyways, the first giveaway we did sold out in 10 days. I'm talking about just like this. 
So what I think y'all doing is, because a lot of people coming through, but you know it's not as fast as the last giveaway. But what I think is, because it ends, because I'm telling everybody it ends February 20th, that everybody waiting to the end date. But the part that they ain't listening to is, if the numbers sell up, then the raffle will end that day. It will end. So just say within the next three days, all numbers sell up. The raffle ends in three days. You see what I'm saying? That's how that works. Because I had a couple few people like, man, uh, they asked me like three, four days ago, is this number available? I'd be like, yeah, it's still available. But then they'll wait uh, till now and be like, man, I want that number. It's not available no more. Somebody already got it. So don't be that guy that's when the winner comes out and you was thinking that number and then that person and you want to be, oh man, I was going to pick that number. It happened so much. When I went live on my last giveaway, I'm telling y'all, man, that's all I seen the whole the whole live feed. I was going to get that number. I was going to get that number. Don't miss your chance, man. A lot of bully breeders is not offering y'all opportunity to get a ten, fifteen thousand dollar dog for thirty five dollars. And the reason I say that, man, everything I say, I leave receipts, man. When I post, uh, when I post pictures and videos of me selling these dogs for that amount of money, it's really for motivational purposes, man. I'm trying to show y'all how much money is involved in this, and it's a real lucrative business, man. Like if you, we spend money on. Dumb stuff every day, investing yourself. And um, like I say, uh, in my last video before this one, I broke it down on how to really make money off the dog that I'm giving away. Nobody's doing it. Who's teaching? Who's giving y'all exotic bully for thirty five dollars? Then teaching you how to make a serious bag off of them. Only take it. Do get crazy. But anyways, man, look at these boys. They over here getting down, man. They messing up the floor. It's all good, man. I can clean it up. I just want them to get. By the way, they do get dewormed tomorrow. I deworm them every two weeks. So they will get dewormed tomorrow. And uh, again, whoever win that boy right there, where you at? There you go. Whoever win this boy right here, you will get uh, full register, I mean, full right papers from USBR, and you will get his up to date shot records, man. So, uh, yeah, man, it's the real deal right here. So yeah, man, we're gonna um we're gonna let them boys eat. And uh hold on. Matter of fact, I got a question for y'all, man. I was just hollering at CJ on 32s uh yesterday, man. He gonna say, he go he go ask me if I still babysit puppies. Y'all feel that way, man? Y'all ready for this other content, man? Y'all ready for me to bring the other content to the channel, man? Y'all feel like all I do is babysit puppies, man. Speaking of babysit puppies, man. This week, I am popping out with the gang, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Big 32 Energy, man. Let me see. Hold on. The light too bright. We got to turn this light off, man. They got Y'all got to see this ice real quick. Turn this light off. I see now. Okay, there we go. There we go. You see them VVSs, man. Hold on. Maybe I got to make it in blurry. Big 32 gang, man. Y'all already know, man. Tape, man. It do get crazy. Anyways, man. Turn the light back on. And I'm and I'm loving my, my Sony camera too, man. I'm loving my Sony camera, man. But I got a whole lot going on besides dogs, man. Just let me know when y'all ready for me to pop out with this new content, man. It do get crazy. Okay. Bye.